Well, for an update, uh, we're now joined by our East Africa correspondent, Sarah Kimani, who's in Nairobi. Sarah, it's uh, been quite an eventful day. The results uh, awaited for such a long time and uh, for some joy and for others disbelief or not wanting to believe the result. Uh, what is the atmosphere in Kenya like at this time? Well, like you said there, it is celebratory in some areas and in some areas still being received with disappointment, with anger for some and for some uh, a sense of disbelief because uh, for former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, this will be fifth time unlucky for uh, Deputy President William Ruto, first time trial and he's in according to IBC chairperson of Fula Chebukati or according to the results that we have received here, 7.1 million uh, people came out to vote uh, in favor of William Ruto 6.9 in favor of uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. So uh, the, that is a decision of Kenyans and now we are waiting to see whether uh, those who are disgruntled will actually move to court. And so um, we saw some very unusual images, the fighting before the results were announced. But more than that, the commissioners of the commission itself distancing themselves from the results. Has that ever happened before? The chaos that we saw just before the announcement, that is not unusual. We saw that in 2007 uh, when uh, the chairperson then of what was called the Electoral Commission of Kenya was Samuel Kivuitu uh, in a different location here in the city centre at the Kenya International, Kenyatta International Conference Centre when uh, somebody uh, jumped and tried to grab uh, the results from, from him. This time, however, it was uh, uh, supporters of the Azimio La Umoja uh, trying to disrupt the uh, announcement announcement of the results and uh, what we have not seen before is the division, the open division that we saw in the commission, four of them breaking away, moving out of uh, uh, the National Tally Center a few minutes before that announcement was made and declaring that uh, the whole process was opaque and so they cannot own the results that uh, were being announced. However, a lot of people asking why they were making the announcement now because we saw them make uh, announcements announcing the results of the tally as they were coming in uh, several occasions we saw them on national television people asking why they did not uh, sound the alarm then and they waited this long has the president said anything because he put himself in a difficult situation by backing one candidate that candidate has lost now but the country is looking for leadership because this is a sensitive time isn't it Indeed, the country still is looking for leadership. Uh, Deputy President William Ruto, now president-elect, saying that uh, he, has, he has not spoken to President Kenyatta, saying President Kenyatta has not called him, but he says that being his boss, being the outgoing leader, being the person that must hand over power to him, then he expects that uh, within the course of tonight or tomorrow, they will have a conversation. They have fallen out badly. Uh, we understand that they don't speak in most occasions. And uh, towards the campaign, we saw them uh, speak at each other in campaign rallies. Uh, most of the times uh, Ruto would skip uh, presidential functions or he would not be invited to presidential functions. So we do not even know how it turns out from here. But for now, President Kenyatta has not spoken. However, the National Police Service has spoken and said that uh, they will continue to protect property uh, of Kenyans and they will continue to ensure that security uh, reigns in the whole country. Has there been any adverse reactions so far uh, to the results? Well, uh, pre uh, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga has not spoken. However, uh, his own supporters, his two agents who are here, spoke and said that uh, they are rejecting the outcome of these polls because they say there were irregularities. They are talking about electoral malpractices by some of the uh, electoral officials. However, during his uh, uh, remarks, opening remarks, our uh, Fula Chebukati, the chairperson of the commission, uh, said that uh, 
they are the ones who have been harassed. His officials have been harassed. Indeed, two officials are still missing uh, in, on duty. We do not know where they are. He also says some have been arrested and harassed, and they say they have been intimidated. So he uh, stood instead and said that uh, the Electoral Commission has done a credible job. He says uh, he took oath of office and he can stand by what he has done this far. Uh, we still have not seen... Uh, chaos as people would have been, people are fearing that there would be an outbreak of chaos. What we have seen is sporadic uh, protests which have been uh, stopped immediately by police but because this happened at night we expect uh, that maybe things will change tomorrow morning especially if former Prime Minister Raila Odinga uh, gives his address. In most of his strongholds there were sporadic protests. Earlier there were victory songs because in this election we have not been able to tell uh, clearly even though the results were in the portal who had won and so there had been celebrations because they had told uh, their uh, uh, bases that they were winning. Uh, William Ruto had also told his bases that he was winning, so there were already celebrations. But uh, now what we have seen is uh, sporadic protests which have been uh, stopped by police. Has there been any further comment from the vice chairperson of the uh, commission and any of the other commissioners to explain what it is that they're dissatisfied with? No, indeed, uh, when they called the press conference, they said that the process was opaque. Uh, they did not take questions from the media. They have not spoken again, but they said that they will be addressing the issues and uh, the opaqueness of the process at a later date. All right, so the other issue was, and um, Deputy President Ruto, President-elect, was at great pains, as well as the commissioner, to explain that these results were uh, accessible to all Kenyans if you had a calculator all you needed to do was do the additions yourselves was that the case and if it was then there should be no argument Well, uh, that was the case, and the, 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 the forms were in uh, the public portal. However, uh, this was uh, the form that was uh, originating from the polling stations. There was also another form that uh, needed to be certified at the National Tally Center, and that is what was being, sorry, at the County Tally Centers, and then it is brought here, and then it is verified. That is what uh, was being waited for. So. Uh, it is some people saying that uh, the Form 34Bs that were brought here, some of them had numbers that had discrepancies. We have no way of proving that. Indeed, uh, President Kenyatta's Jubilee Party on the second day of the tiling process indicated that there was massive rigging, but we also have no way of verifying that. And they were not able to prove, because they were asked by the media to prove, they were not able to prove. Uh, what we have seen is the process has uh, gotten so many uh, gatekeeping uh, steps that uh, many of those who will ask will say that it has become more difficult to be able to cheat unless you cheat at the polling station along the way it becomes more difficult to cheat or to be able to steal an, an election some people saying this has been the most credible election but the jury is still out all right so um we heard a little bit of uh, william ruto in his uh, acceptance speech if i can call it that or recognition of his uh, uh, victory um, what sense do you get about what he was saying? What was in the main the message that he had for Kenyans? I won. I won this election and I won by the huge majority. Kenyans decided it was me. Uh, Kenyans and God against uh, my boss, against uh, uh, the system. And so this is me, William Ruto, a man from uh, the village, a man from who would not have been able to rise to this winning an election. But he also uh, tried to be reconciliatory. He also uh, sought to extend an olive branch to uh, those who did not vote for him. But the message that came out from his speech was that he had a resounding victory and that he worked for it and Kenyans gave him uh, the mandate to, uh, to rule. He also said that uh, he has a plan and that he will set out an agenda for the country. Uh, he has, says he has a priorities for 100 days, medium term and long term. So Kenyans are uh, remembering that uh, the government that he has been serving in, the Jubilee uh, administration, overpromised and probably that is what uh, made them uh, punish. So to 
to speak, Uhuru Kenyatta, in this election. So they will be watching to see whether he will make the same mistakes that President Kenyatta made. But it was also clear that he will not uh, be going into any coalition with the opposition. He said he will respect the opposition's uh, uh, place as uh, uh, for, for checks and balances, but he will not be working with them in what we have seen with President Mwai Kibaki or what we have seen in the second term of President Kenyatta. All right, this is perhaps uh, an unfair question for you, but I just wonder if there is talk at all at this stage about the future for Raila Odinga if he's unable to turn this uh, result around. Is this probably the last time that we see him standing for president? It's difficult to tell, but he has tried for, fifth, for five times. This was his fifth time. He's 77, and we don't know, but Raila has been a fighter. He's been jailed uh, fighting for reforms in the country. Uh, he's been jailed, uh, you know, uh, by the Moi government. He has pushed for multi-party democracy. He's, he doesn't give up very easily. He's the person credited for having fought for this constitution. So he may be going to court. Uh, but remember, he has a job with the African Union as the uh, head of infrastructure development. So should he decide not to buy again, then he still has that role he could decide to continue with it he's also seen as a reformist so maybe uh, the african union and other institutions will be reaching out to him for wisdom in terms of uh, you know uh, trying to develop democracy on the continent and especially electoral democracy because he can be credited for that sarah we'll leave it there thank you very very much indeed for joining us that's our correspondent in east africa sarah kimani reporting from Nairobi giving us uh, an update uh, a few hours about uh, or four hours after five hours maybe after the uh, election results were announced uh, earlier today William Ruto the current deputy president now president-elect uh, winning just over 50 percent of the vote he will be the next president of Kenya